in this video I'll just be giving you some tips on the best or some of the best uh, universities that you can go to to study uh, a course that would lead you into the software engineering route. So if you want to be a programmer, you want to be a coder, I'll probably make a video sometime just uh, to highlight and give some tips on people that are not yet in the field on the different uh, fields within the IT field that you can do. Uh, I'll get into that. So if you want to just program or be a developer or be a software engineer, there's uh, some universities and courses that you can do to get you to that. Okay, so let's start with the first uh, university that's on my screen, that is the University of Cape Town, that is in Cape Town, that is in the Western Cape region, if you're not familiar. And with that, you will find the website with all the different stuff. And then just to give you an overview of the different schools that you can go to, let's see. Mm, I wanted to go directly to, I didn't go to UCT, so let me just refresh the screen. Hopefully it can get me to the courses. Okay, yes, this is the exact screen I wanted to get to. So faculty and de department. So in UCT, there are two channels that I saw. Either you can go through the engineering and built in environment, that's the faculty, or you can go to the... Um, Let's open it, or you can go to the science. Yes, this is another one that you can open. But let's start with the engineering and built environment. So this is specifically if you your end goal is to be in the software engineering field. Okay, so as you can see, there are different departments. There's chemical, civils, construction management, electrical, mechanical, all that. But if you want to go into that field, this is what you go for. That is the electrical engineering. And UCT for engineering, electrical engineering gets you closer to that software side of things because there's different aspects within uh, uh, electrical engineering. You can either go for light current or you can go down the um, heavy current route. So it depends on what you gravitate towards during that course. I don't want to get so deep in it, but if you want me to clarify anything, you can leave that in the comment section down below. I'll see if I can make a video about it. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos like this channel. Uh, yeah, share this with anyone that you think you'd find it useful. Number two course while at UCT that you can go for is directly computer science. So right here, remember initially I said engineering or computer science. So the engineering one is a four-year degree, and uh, the computer science is a three-year degree, but some people choose to do an honors after and wrap that up and make it a four. But sometimes even a three-year degree can is fine and is just right. You can get a good like graduate program or a good job straight after university after this because you will have gotten a lot of the knowledge that directs you into that software field. Now, the electrical, the engineering side is very wholesome. So you, it's not just a focus on the software side of things, but also the hardware, so, so you'll get exposure to electricity, all those other different aspects. But this is another one that you can look into. Then, the number two university that you can consider is what they call Stellenbosch University. Now, Stellenbosch University is also in the Cape Town region, Western Cape region. It's about an hour's drive from Cape Town. It's also a smaller town, but there's a lot of wineries that side, so that's what it's known for majority, majorly. But you can go to faculties here. Now, here, I would go for this engineering specifically. I'll check and see if the science department has something, uh, but their engineering faculty is re really strong as well, Qu quite as strong as, in fact, on the same level as UCT, in my opinion. So with engineering departments, now UCT has just electrical uh, on the banner. Uh, here you get electrical and electronic. So that's just a slight difference in the two. 
but you can just delve deeper you see with this when you're deciding what university to go to go if you see a vibe a university vibe that gravitates towards you and you like kind of what they're about or what they study now uct is very international uh, you'll find a heavy yes yeah, stella bosch has a decent international base but if you're an international student you'll feel more comfortable at uct because there's a lot more international students at uct but if you are up to something different uh, Stellenbosch is another option as well that you can consider uh, let's see the science department of Stellenbosch if they have computer science all I know is its engineering field is very strong uh, Stellenbosch produces quality engineers so that's um, something key uh, I want to see if they're is a bsc graduates in practice okay this just gets uh deeper into okay, mathematical sciences that's another uh, tunnel you can go into because that's also you get that computer science over there uh financial mathematics applied mathematics you can find that in some instances you can combine some of these take a few courses from here take a few few courses from there but yes, and this uh, can also apply to postgraduate. So if you're a postgraduate student looking for a university or course to go to, this could also be uh, in this top list, universities and courses that you can consider as well. Now, number three university. Number three is University of Vets, uh, for short, Vets Waters Rand, Vets Waters. I don't know if, I'm, <laughs> if I can pronounce it properly, but... Uh, the vets vatas anyway whatever <laughs> i'll try it but short let's study at vets now faculty and schools now vets is in the johannesburg area and johannesburg area is two hours away two hours flight from the cape town area it's more inland uh and uh, it's more of the of the it's a metropolitan city as well but it's more of a busy busy city here cape town is more of it's got a chill of vibe with the ocean and the mountains but yes vets is that side inland uh johannesburg area but they also have a good uh it or electrical and information engineering background so if that's what you can consider or that's what you're into you can click right there they also have a great one so that would definitely go into my number three spot uh, it also depends you see you can study different things within electrical or electronic or computer engineering all those things are really intertwined so as much as it can say electrical engineering you will take a couple of programming classes as much as it's a uh, computer engineering even for some universities you take some electronic or electrical classes as well they'll give you some uh, exposure here and there even maths even physics all those you even sometimes game design so you'll see what you gravitate towards the most okay then number four number four is my proud alma mater I put this in number four because it's if you're an international student because it's more inland it's about an hour and a half from Johannesburg uh, it's a it was a good experience honestly the engineering degree there is solid I learned a lot uh, it's just you don't have as much exposure to more international students in your vicinity that's why I put it to number four but otherwise in terms of quality of the course it's definitely i'll put it up there engineering is solid there they've got some great lecturers and great facilities as well and if you're into the software engineering realm you would be studying computer and electronic engineering degree that's also something that you notice different in this university northwest as compared to the others the others are electrical engineering in uct electronic engineering in Stellenbosch, electro electronic and informat no electrical and informatics engineering adverts and with northwest it was the only one that i got that combination like straight off the bat 
So I guess I gravitated towards that quite a lot. I got exposure in the electronics side, the exposure in the computer side. So it was a good balance of both the two aspects. Uh, yes, and also some exposure. You get, do a few courses there in computer science and uh, programming side of things. So there's that good exposure. So that leads it to my number four spot. All right, number five. Number five is University of Pretoria. Now, Pretoria is about two hours' drive from Johannesburg. It's also, uh, you get your computer engineering. Let me just open and go straight to that. You get, now, with, US, with University of Pretoria, they separate computer engineering, they separate electrical engineering, they separate electronic engineering, so it just separates as compared to Northwest, where they join electronic and computer engineering, and then there's another course, electrical and electronic engineering. So it depends what you gravitate towards, but this is in order of my personal preference. So you can do your own research and see what you gravitate towards the most, because we all have different tastes and interests. Uh, yes, but this was just for my perspective, what I would... Uh, go for if I was to decide. Uh, considering the information I know now, after working in the field, coming to three years now, four, I'm in my third year, between the third and fourth year of working. Uh, yes, uh, I'm trying to, okay, yes, you can see here at University of Pretoria, Department of Electrical, Electronic, and Computer engineering. Let's go inside. All right. Study. Let's see. Hopefully, they show the separate courses, degree programs. Hopefully, we can get into that quite a bit. Yes. Now, you see, they separate all of this electrical engineering with the heavy current stuff. Electronic engineering with your microprocessors, DSP programming, digital system, signal processing, control systems. Then you have your computer engineering. Oh, my goodness. All these subjects bring back hearty memories. This, uh, I love my studying. I, I really enjoyed all these courses and all this stuff. So with Northwest, that's the difference is you combine a lot of this. But as you can see, it in computer engineering itself, it does combine a couple of courses from the electronic engineering side of things. Now, I did all of this plus all of this in my Northwest. So Northwest doesn't have a list of everything. Probably has if you dive deeper. And I enjoy dig dig digital system program and digital signal processing <laughs> part of it. Anyway, so that is University of Pretoria for you. And then... Last but definitely not least, I'm not saying it's the least, it's just order of preference in my opinion, uh, University of Johannesburg. Now, this is in Johannesburg as well, just like this. Uh, fac faculties, you get your faculty of engineering and build. Most of them are EBE, yeah, that's short for engineering and build environment. Usually that's what the faculties are called. Uh, let's see. Let's see how I can get into the programs offered. Uh, let's see. Courses and programs. Undergraduate. But all I know for this one, it... Oh, I'm trying to see how I can get into the course names. Okay. Yes. Let's see. If this will open. Okay. So they have your chemical, civil, but for us, if you're focused on end goal software engineering, this would be what you go for, electrical and electronical engineering with IT endorsement. And some people actually, for this one, I've worked with a couple of people that studied at UJ, that's University of Johannesburg, and a lot of them did IT information systems, and they are strong programmers. So if you're just after the programming aspect of things and couldn't be bothered about the electrical, electronic, for the most part, you can go for that IT course. 
Let me see if I can uh, get to it just to make it visible. Uh, must be Faculty of Science. Let's see. Courses and programs. Undergraduate, but I guess it won't be so different. Oh, I don't want to go so deep into that. The so prospector sometimes wants you to download stuff. But uh, faculty of science, yes, courses and programs. You know, that's where I was. A department, yes. Acad ac ac academy, yes. <laughs> of computer science and software engineering. Now this, if you're heavily focused on the programming side of things, software engineering side of things, this I would highly recommend. Actually, this I'll put it up there because unless the people who worked at that from UJ are strong programmers, and they know this stuff. And most of them studied um, from this department, computer science and informatics. That's the thing. What, and another thing I've seen, people who focus on the computer science of things are really strong at, get, at creating efficient software programs. But anyway, that's another story for another day. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more videos. Let me know your comments as well, or what you think. But just for my opinion, in terms of from the first that I would recommend uh, to uh, my, uh, I, I don't want to say less preferred, but yes, uh, to my sixth of uh, university and course, because I've seen that question come up a bit in my comment section. But yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Come back for the next one. Don't forget I upload every Tuesday. That is it for me for now. Peace.